With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In the figure, CDEF is fixed conducting smooth frame in a vertical plane. A conducting uniform rod GF of mass 1 gram can move vertically smoothly along the losing contact with the frame. GH remains horizontal and it is a given a velocity 1 meter per second in upward direction and released. Taking acceleration due to gravity as G assuming no resistance is present other than R. Time taken by the rod to reach the highest position, highest point is ln 10 by x second. We want this value of x. So if you see here, the mg will act in downward direction here. And uh, since it is moving in upward direction, and uh, the induced EMF will be in the direction, if you see v cross b, so it will be, the current here will be in this direction. Since induced EMF will be here like this, U, L, right? So the current, induced current will be, so if I write down the force on it, right? So force on it, it will be B, I, L. So if you see here, the current is I, magnetic field is in downward direction. So, it will be in downward direction, right, L cross B. So, we know that the force on a current carrying wire, it is I. So, L cross V will be in downward direction. So, this force will be in downward direction and it will be B square V, uh, v B square U L square. So, basically, you will multiply it with this. So, here if you see here, the B is given it is 3, right? L, the length is 10 centimeter. So, we can just put the value of uh, the B and L. So, it will be 9. L is 10 centimeter. So, it will be 1 by 10 meter, right? So, it will be this. So, it will be U and uh, in division, the, the resistance is R. So, we got it is 9 by 100 U. And uh, if you see here, the mass is 1 gram, right? So, the mg here will act in downward direction. It will be 10 to the power minus 3 kilo into this. So, it will be 10 to the power minus 2 Newton, all right? So, if you see, we have the two forces that are acting in downward direction. So, if I write down the mass times acceleration, it will be equals to plus minus 2 u. These are the two forces. Here, the acceleration will be in downward direction. So, if you see the mass, we know it is uh, 10 to the power minus 3. So, just divide this. Uh, just multiply this 10 to the power 3. So, it will be 10 plus 90 u right so if you see the mass v i will write down it is it, it is in the vision it was thousand so we just multiplied this expression by thousand and we got this so acceleration is nothing but du by dt right so we will just write down this and integrate it so i will write down is equals to dt integration integration so if you see here the integration will be ln 10 plus 90 u right and uh, the velocity will be varying from so dt it will be 0 it will be u to 0 right and uh, if you see here it will be varying from 0 to t. So, if you see the initial velocity was 1 meter per second and finally it will be 0. So, if you see here at the highest position the u will be 0. At the highest position the u will be 0. So, if you put the values now 
at uh, if you see here this is at 0 it will be this at 1 it will be 100 into this and we differentiated with respect to u right so here in division 90 will be there and since it is dx relation so we will put a negative sign here dx relation now if you see we got the expression this is ln 10 by 90 is equals to time so if you compare the expression ln 10 by 90 and uh, we want this x so x is 90 here and this is the answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today